producers talking to my people and they're like if he don't take it you know we, we, he can't be in the movie and some of you may not have realized um, that I'm not part of the club it's not taking it it's like okay can't do the movie okay no problem with the club is what makes them so mad is when you don't want to be a part of a fucking club consequently ice cube has finally cleared the air and revealed the real reason hollywood barred him from producing films stating that the gatekeepers in the business utilized the fact that he was unvaccinated to fire him from the ventures he was working on Rapper Ice Cube recently discussed how he turned down a $9 million movie job because he wasn't immunized on Joe Rogan's podcast. During the interview, Hugh talked about how in Hollywood, all the major production companies made vaccinations a requirement for performers, and, despite being offered a lucrative job, the rapper chose not to be vaccinated. He asserted that suddenly, every Hollywood producer had issued a directive prohibiting anyone from working in the studio or with actors unless they had received the shot. Since not all producers have the same beliefs, according to Ice Cube, this edict must have come from the company to affect all of them. This is because certain producers undoubtedly had their own unique viewpoints. These specific producers then gave Ice Cube the order, warning him and his crew that he won't be in the movies if he doesn't receive the part. Additionally, these same producers decided that because Ice was not receiving the vaccine, he should not appear in the movies. I didn't go out, telling everyone what happened, admits Ice Cube, who claims he didn't have a problem with the lack of work because of his unvaccinated nature. However, he was astonished when press headlines started getting out about the reason he was not acting in movies. I kept it a secret that I would let folks know I wasn't immunized. I didn't advise folks to skip getting their shots. I kept quiet to folks about the fact that I'm not acting in this movie because I don't want to get immunized. But somehow, someway, word got out that Q was pulling out of the movie. I'm not sure if it was a Hollywood reporter or someone. The fact that one was not allowed to disclose another person's medical state while his had been printed and distributed in copies seemed absurd to Ice Cube in light of HIPAA legislation. Since Ice Cube and his crew never discussed it, it seems obvious that someone in Hollywood had given the reporter a tip. He claimed that the Hollywood Reporter and other well-known Hollywood news outlets leaked his private medical information without his consent, leading to the public knowledge that he wasn't inoculated and that he therefore lost the movie job. Every news source was reporting on Ice Cube's departure from Sony's next comedy, Oh Hell No, in which he was set to star alongside Jack Black because he refused to comply with the producer's desire to get vaccinated. Oh Hell No's producers demanded that the cast receive vaccinations, which caused the movie to delay the start of production because Jack Black hurt himself while filming a joke for the final episode of Conan and the studio was looking for a replacement for Ice Cube who declined a $9 million paycheck. Ice Cube might have declined the vaccination but he persisted in encouraging mask use throughout the pandemic. During COVID-19 lockdowns in April 2020, he introduced Check Yourself Before You Wreck Yourself branded t-shirts with the star in a mask in collaboration with the maker Blackout, with the proceeds going to frontline healthcare personnel. The pressure they applied to convince him to be vaccinated, according to Ice Cube, allegedly failed. They tried to, you know, put my business in the public front, put pressure on me, and have everyone around me call me a moron so I could go get vaccinated and ask, please let me do the movie, by doing all of these things. That, as you well know, was never going to occur. Doesn't matter if there were 20 million, that could never have happened. Ice Cube's decision was also strongly backed by Rogan, who added, if you had been hurt by that vaccine, you would have paid that 20 million to get well again. According to Rogan, many people were made to receive the COVID-19 vaccination against their will, which was improper for a number of reasons. I turned down a movie because I didn't want to get the motherfucking jab, Ice Cube said in a previous episode of the Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast, confirming that he had lost the $9 million acting position due to his refusal to have the COVID vaccination. I declined $9 million. Cube reportedly responded in agreement with the rumor. I resisted getting the shot. You lot attempting to make me understand it, fuck yeah. I'm not sure how Hollywood currently feels about me. Cube said, that's Hollywood thought, when one of the podcast hosts advised him to quit Hollywood for streaming. They are intoxicated, but also me, and also on some crap. He said he was working on it and hustled because he has a lot of opportunities up his sleeve when asked if he would leave Hollywood and launch an independent project. 
The Hollywood band was one of the topics the Ice Cube and Mike Tyson discussed during a previous appearance on an episode of Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson. Ice Cube responded, I'm always working on something, you know, right now I didn't get vaccinated, when Tyson's co-host Matt Barnes inquired about the rapper's next films. Hollywood eventually decided not to work with me for a second as a result, you know. Among other things, Ice Cube discussed Tyson's status as a superhero and nothing less in the podcast. They also discussed Snoop Dogg, Too Short, and E-40, as well as his project, Mount Westmore. Tyson was also informed about Ice Cube's future ambitions. He said that maybe Hollywood will see reason after berating it for refusing to work with him because he is unvaccinated. At the end of the day, we're working on a lot of independent shit in the background. Ice Cube made a video explaining why Hollywood had banned him and was acting as his gatekeeper, while also claiming that because he was not a member of the exclusive club that other well-known people were, Hollywood detested him even more. Ice Cube asserted that he did not belong to the exclusive Hollywood club to which so many others appear to belong. Additionally, he expressed his displeasure at the difficulties he claims to encounter as a result. So Ice Cube published a menacing video on YouTube in which he addresses the camera directly, and the guy launches into a protracted tirade about not being accepted by the elites and gatekeepers in entertainment business and sports, and that he neither wants nor is a part of that group. Continuing, he claims that his refusal to join the Hollywood elite actually incenses people on the inside since he is standing against what is expected of someone in his position. After that, Ice Cube claimed that some groups had been playing pranks on him, and from the way he put it, it seemed like he thought some obstacles had been put in his way in response to his position and reluctance to join the inside club. Although he promises to go through any obstacle in his path, Cube claims he doesn't care. He also brought up his Big Three League, claiming that it had prospered in spite of what he perceived to be opposition from influential organizations like the NBA. Ice Cube asserted that the Big Three Basketball League, which he and entertainment executive Jeff Quatnet co-founded, is not receiving the attention it merits in the media because of his status in Hollywood. He further asserted that the NFL's failure to give his basketball league the attention it deserves is due in part to his contract with Black America, which demanded that the NFL give more business to black firms in the consumer services, technology, and other economic sectors. As a result, Ice Cube declared that he would soon embark on a major podcast tour in which he would speak with everyone, and he implied that this would also cause controversy. He claimed he wasn't there for the gatekeepers, who, ever since he terminated his contract with Black America in front of the 2020 presidential election, appear to be ignoring his major three basketball league. In order to atone for the abuse of black artists in the entertainment business for many years, Ice Cube earlier urged Hollywood studios to enact a type of reparations. Stepping outside of his regular creative pursuits, Ice Cube contributed to the writing of a document he called a contract with black America that addressed police brutality in the U.S. and tried to eliminate more pervasive elements of institutional racism. When host Angela Yee asked the artist about representation in Hollywood during his appearance on The Breakfast Club, he said that he believed Hollywood had long mistreated the black community and that studios eager to make amends should donate money to establish black-run studios so that they can tell their stories free from the constraints of the conventional Hollywood system. This was undoubtedly incredibly bold of him to do, and he has already claimed that his career and membership in the Big Three Basketball League were both negatively impacted by his deal with Black America. In his explanation of the pen contract, he asserted that almost all of Hollywood studios had contributed to the narrative of black people by exploiting their suffering, misrepresenting them, and stealing their history in order to give it to white people for more than a century instead of giving these rights to black people. He declared, I think these studios that we know and love should kick into a studio that's run by black people without outside influences and whose movies and projects are owned by those black people. Those black artists, directors, writers, and people who put the project together should own the projects, own a certain amount of money into the studio each year as payment for all the damage they've done to black people. He made it clear that he was against segregation in the entertainment sector, and that under his fictitious proposal, black performers would still be able to sign deals with major studios like NGM, Warner Brothers, and Universal. He asserted that the majority of his peers had ideas for projects but were unable to complete them because some white individuals did not get what they were attempting to create. He therefore believed that giving black creatives their own area would be preferable. Additionally, he claimed that Hollywood must make amends for its treatment of black people, since it is via watching TV as children that police officers learn how to kick our asses. They pick it up there. They eventually become police officers and say, 
Look, I saw this on NYPD Blue. So that is how it is done. The bluntness of Ice Cube, his refusal to participate in Hollywood, and his refusal to be vaccinated, in my opinion, are just a few of the numerous reasons why Hollywood is excluding him from some projects and allowing him to participate in others. A supporter suggested that anyone hurt by the illegal hash COVID vaccine mandates should sue all hospitals and companies who sacked workers as a result. Hollywood has blacklisted Ice Cube for refusing to be immunized. What's going on with the Ice Cube saga? A commenter asked. It turns out that the NBA and Adam Zio Silver are threatening his product, 3-on-3 three three Basketball. The saga started when Ice Cube revealed he had declined a Hollywood job because they were imposing the jab and we knew Zios were responsible for this poison and didn't care who knew it. What makes you think that Hollywood is blocking Ice Cube? Is this because he doesn't want to be a part of them, or are they trying to cover up something more sinister? Mention your thoughts in the comment section below. If you liked this video, then share it to your friends and family members. Also if you are a new viewer on our channel, then um sus subscribe our channel for more celebrity news and gossips. Thanks for watching our video. That's all for today. Goodbye.